it as a grappling hook or a uh, close quarter combat. Possibilities are endless here. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm the Epic Modder, aka the Budget Hacksmith, and today I'm going to show you um, how to build a, some Daredevil uh, Billy Clubs. So, um, with the announcement that he's coming in Spider Man 3 or for, uh, through the multiverse, I decided to try my hand to make some of these. So, these are full metal, uh, has a cork sort of uh, connecting design, and it has a st uh, pretty thick steel cable in the middle. So, it's a really powerful thing. Let's get right to building. Sorry for the lighting difference, it's at night time, I recorded this at two different times. But anyways, so yeah, these are two um, uh, 12 by 3 8 inch uh, pipe and bowls. They're really strong, really hard. I'll put the link to them in the description below with all the other uh, ingredients for this build. So they're really powerful. And um, I used the same exact uh, ones in another one of my videos, which is building uh, Nightwing uh, screw Mystics. Uh, next I have about a foot and a half of this uh, one three sixteenths inch steel cable, high tensile strength, so good for grappling hooks. This will be the the rope between the two uh, building club. Uh, next, I have this. Uh, uh, I think I believe it to be an inch and a, yeah, an inch and a half of three eighths inch uh, brass tubing, and this will toward be the connector piece between the two rods. So I'm right now. I'm going to do is wrap it in electrical tape to sort of thicken it, so it can act as a cork connecting the two pieces with friction holding them together. So I'm just going to wrap it around until right here, um, it's thick enough, uh, to, uh, thick enough to stick between and be a connector between the two pieces. It's sort of like a fric friction pin and the holes f so the rope can go through. But anyways, uh, you just push this in here. There's enough friction that holds in place. If you want, you use hot glue or some sort of thing like that, but it should work just like that. Uh, if you made this from the video, uh, please sub um, consider subscribing. Uh, different, I have a bunch of gadgets um, here and, and coming in the future. So yeah, if you like this stuff, please subscribe. Okay, so as you see, I, put, I secured the friction um, pin inside of this uh, pipe and now you can connect the two and they connect pretty well. Here's a far shot. So yeah, there's a little bit of uh, curving and that's just because um, the friction pin's not thick enough. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more tape, make another thin layer, sort of thick enough and uh, it will not wear off, so it just combined. So up here, I wrapped the handles in tape and um, electrical tape, just so to absorb the shock, sort of like baseball gloves and how baseballs have um, tape and whatever, and baseball bass have tape. And um, I spray painted the handles red, just give it a Daredevil vibe, because Daredevil's iconic color is red, and then the black is sort of like the accents on the Netflix Daredevil suit. Uh, so here's a closer look into the um, uh, Daredevil Billy Clubs. Um, I only put one coat of spray paint. I'm gonna put an extra coat on it a little bit later. I just have to get this video out pretty quickly. So as you can see, uh, this opens pretty simply like that, right there. And this is a pretty long line, and then you just close it pretty well. I secured I secured the line um, through friction with that one peg. Uh, you can use the baton as an extension of your um, your fist, sort of like a, a baton, or you can use as nunchucks. Okay, so I, I just quickly used some uh, duct tape and taped a couple of, uh, I guess, floor tiles together just to demonstrate how powerful these billy clubs really are. So that's pretty, um, pretty cool build, pretty cool testing. It's pretty powerful and it's only about 10 bucks. Uh, this build shares a lot of parts with the Nightwing Screamer Stick, so if you are considering um, building this on your own, you should consider checking out my Nightwing Screamer Sticks video and you can probably build both for around the same ish price. Uh, so I'll include links to these parts in the description. Uh, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it for this video. Next week I have an Iron Man Gauntlet Part 2 coming, as well as a Mandalorian project coming after that. And a couple of Mandalorian projects on the way. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.